to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, make us worthy in the abundance of your grace and mercy to glorify your resurrection with your hearts, to celebrate your victory with holy hymns, and to proclaim your might with pure tongues. We thank you for your love and worship you, crying out, Christ is risen, he is truly risen. To you be glory to your Father and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Assalamu lil biati wa libaniha. Al mashtu lillahi fil ali wa ala al ardi salam. نرفع عنا التسبيح والمجد والإكرام إلى الحي الذي لا يموت الذي أحيا برياه بصلب وخلص بيعته بقيامته وفرح رعيته بنهور وسيفرح ميراثه بظهوره بالخمور أبو نشكوني الصالح الذي له المجد والإكرام في هذا العيد وفي كل أيام حياتنا إلى الأبد آمين إياك نعبد وإياك نحمد أيها الإبن الوحيد يا من نزلت إلى ظلمة القبور فأتيت في مثوى الأموات عجبا عطقت الأسرى بقيامتك وإيقظت بصوتك الأبرار والصديقين الراقدين في سبات الموت وجماعة الشعوب يعبدونك ويكرزون بخلاصك مهللين هاتفين أمس الأول صلب الملك وعانى الألام واليوم تحقق الظفر بقيامته أمس الأول فتح الرمح جنبه واليوم فتح العماد بحنانه أمس الأول كلنا بالشوق واليوم زين بيعته بإكليل البهاء Today is the day of rejoicing in the resurrection. Today is the day of rejoicing for all who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. 
Today, with the phrase of this instant, the church and her children celebrate and sing hymns of glory, saying, O Creator of life, you have saved us by your passion and have given us life by your resurrection. Now renew our image by your grace, clothe our bodies with the power of the Spirit, so that we may shine in the robe of glory and in this light see you, the true bridegroom. In your grace make us and all the faithful departed worthy of your heavenly kingdom, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, Baruch Mor, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Daughter of the nations, rise, sing the hidden Father's praise. He betrothed you to his Son out of his great love. Sent him to take on flesh from Mary's womb and to save the world. He endured death on the cross on account of Adam's sin ascended on high. At his father's right, he reigns on the day he rose, he spread. day creation sings giving praise with hymns of joy for the son of god arose from the darkness of the tomb and reigned in his majesty upon his throne mighty lord of hosts we the holy faithful ones on the altar see our Lord, his body, our food, and his precious blood, our drink. Every day the church on earth delights in Christ, that she may rejoice on high. Christ is risen from the tomb and enlightens all the of angels shout for joy and the seraphim rejoice the ranks of the cherubim join in the praise holy holy lord god the father sent his son to make adam sing نشكرك يا حمل الله الذي ذبح عنا ونجد لك يا بخور الغفران الذي قربنا إليه فأغنانا بميلاده ونقانا بعماده وقدسنا بصلبه وأصلح بيننا وبين الآب بقيامته ورفعنا بصعوده وزيننا بمواهب روحه تقبل يا ربنا بخورنا وانفحنا بتيبك العذب كل حين برخ مربون رشكوني فتفيض السنتنا بشكرك الآن وإلى الأبا آمين قديشة ألوهو قديشة حيلتونو قديشة لومو يوتو Mshihot komen bet mite itera hamale. Kadishat aluhu, kadishat hayltonu, kadishat.
Kodishet lo moyuto Mshihot komen bet mite itera hamalein Kodishet aluhu Kodishet hayl tonu Kodishet lo moyuto Mshihot komen bet mite itera hamalein Holy and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds, purify our consciences, that we may praise you with the purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Peace and hope have been given to all people far and near. From the tomb, Christ has risen, gathering his flock as one. Now the church is rejoicing for a shepherd truly rose. Christ, who died for his people, conquered death to give new life. Lord, our God, God you accepted what the just had offered you. Now accept in your mercy of your sacrifice. فصل من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول الأولى إلى أهل كورنثوس وبارك يا رئيس الكهنة. المجد لسيد بولس والرسول والتحي المراحم الله على القارئتين والسامعين وعلى هذه الرعية وأبنائها الآن وإلى الأبد آمين. يا إخوتي إن كان المسيح يبشر به أنه قام من بين الأموات فكيف يقول بعض منكم أن لا قيامة للأموات؟ فإن كان لا قيامة للأموات فالمسيح أيضا لم يقم وإن كان المسيح لم يقم فتبشيرنا فارغ وفارغ إيمانكم ونكون نحن شهود زور على الله لأننا شهدنا على الله أنه أقام المسيح وهو ما أقامه إن صح أن الأموات لا يقومون فإن كان الأموات لا يقومون فالمسيح أيضا لم يقم وإن كان المسيح لم يقم فباطل إيمانكم وتكونون بعد, وتكونون بعد في خطاياكم إذا فالذين ركضوا في المسيح قد هلكوا إن كنا نرجو المسيح في هذه الحياة وحسب فنحن أشقى الناس أجمعين والحال أن المسيح قام من بين الأموات وهو باكورة, باكورة الراقدين فبما أن الموت كان بواسطة الإنسان فبواسطة الإنسان أيضا تكون قيامة الأموات فكما أنه في آدم يموت الجميع كذلك في المسيح سيحيا الجميع كل واحد في رتبته المسيح أولا لأنه الباكورة ثم الذين هم للمسيح عند مجيئه وبعد ذلك تكون النهاية حين يسلم المسيح الملك إلى الله الآب بعد أن يكون قد أبطل كل رئاسة وكل سلطان قوة لأنه لا بد للمسيح أن يملك وإلى أن يجعل الله جميع أعدائه تحت قدميه وآخر عدو يبطل هو الموت والتسبيح لله دائما A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians with your blessing your lordship Brothers and sisters, now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain and your faith has been in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified of God that he raised Christ. 
whom he did not raise, if it is true that the dead are not raised. For the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ, but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then at coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Praise be to God always. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia. Before the proclamation of the gospel of our Saviour, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Baruch Mora Vodesh Kohne, peace be with you. And with your spirit. Minjili Rabbina Yesu al Messiah al Kudisi Marcus, al Ladi Bashar al Alam bil Hayat, fal Nusrila Bisharat al Hayat, wal Khalas di Nufusina. Irahamna ya. قال لوقا البشير لما انقضى السبت اشترت مريم المجدلية ومريم أم يعقوب والسلومة طيوبا ليأتينا ويطيبنا جسد يسوع وفي يوم الأحد باكرا جدا أتينا إلى القبر مع طلوع الشمس وكنا يقولنا فيما بينهن من يدحج لنا الحجر عن باب القبر وتفرسنا فشاهدنا الحجر قد دحرج وكان كبيرا جدا دخلنا القبر فرأينا شابا جالسا عن اليمين متوشحا حلة بيضاء فانذهلنا فقال لهن لا تنذهلن أنتن تطلبن يسوع الناصري المصلوب إنه قام وليس هنا وهو المكان الذي وضعوه فيه ألا ذهبنا وقلنا لتلاميذه ولبطرس إنه يسبقكم إلى الجليل وهناك ترونه كما قال لكم فخرجنا من القبر وهربنا من شدة الرعدة والذهل ومن خوفهن لم يقلنا لأحد شيئا From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, 
and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is a place they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ. Fathers, deacon and subdeacon, Maronite sister of the Holy Family, beloved sons and daughters of our Maronite eparchy. Yet not my will, but yours. The story of man's salvation reached its pinnacle and fulfillment on Easter Sunday in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead, triumphing over evil sin and death. This is the great historical event by which the will of God the Father was revealed, opening the doors of hope and new life for all humanity. On the morning of the glorious feast of Easter, we return to the prayer which our Lord made in the Mount of Olives when he said, Father, let your will be done, not mine. In light of this prayer, we understand the salvific plan of God manifested in Jesus' obedience and voluntarily surrender to the will of his Father, embracing the suffering and passion which lead him to the cross. However, on the third day, he rose from the dead. Through his resurrection, the will of God the Father was revealed for everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and Jesus will raise him up on the last day. On this blessed feast, we recognize that Jesus Christ not only assumed our humanity, but even bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, and was obedient unto death, even death on the cross. This was the will of God his Father, so that we might all attain redemption and salvation. We have come out of the darkness, suffering and oppression of Good Friday into the light and joy of the resurrection. Through his wounds and his passion, we experience the grace of healing. At dawn on Sunday, the, the morning of the third day, we accompany Mary Magdalene to the grave in tears, sorrow, and anxiety. But we return with great faith and firm hope, bearing the good news and joyfully announcing, He is no longer there. He is risen. How wonderful it is for us to submit to the holy will of God, not only today, but every day of our lives, realizing that in this we do not simply bow our heads and surrender, becoming slaves, but rather we gain the freedom of beloved children. We worship God in spirit and in truth. And we embrace our faith with full freedom and love. In this context, His Holiness Pope Francis said, as children, we must be cautious of the loving heart of God the Father, whose saving love pours forth in the heart of each one of us and the whole world. What distinguishes the feast this year from last year is that we are celebrating it with you and the doors of the churches are open to welcome the faithful to participate in the Mass and all the other divine mysteries. 
Here, we must say a word of thanks for the measures taken by the state and federal governments in Australia to deal with the coronavirus pandemic that have spread, spared us a lot of pain and suffering and drew our attention to our country. On this feast, we can only pray for our world that is suffering from this dangerous pandemic. More than 122 million people have been infected with the coronavirus, which has sadly led to the death of about 2,700,000 of them so far in various parts of the world. The COVID-19 pandemic is like a long, dark night that envelops the world, frightening people. But we know, but we now all look with eyes of hope to the rise of the new dawn, ending the spread of the virus. With renewed faith in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, may we become a better church and society as we ever strive to protect the weak and the vulnerable. In doing so, we shall always abide by the teachings and directives of our Holy Mother, the Catholic Church, which alone has the truth and directs us on the right path. However, our joy in this Easter remains incomplete. Because we all feel the suffering of our families and our people in Lebanon who are walking long road to Golgotha, carrying on their shoulders the, cross, the crosses of poverty, hunger, unemployment, and despair caused by the neglect of the state and the corruption of many in its institution who have stolen public funds. As Maronites in Australia, let us pray with our brothers and sisters residing in Lebanon, asking the Lord to look with mercy to that country and its tormented people and to inspire consciences to launch a new stage in the Lebanese history according to the, to the vision of His Beatitude and Eminence, Mark Sharabutros Kadina Rai. This vision would lead Lebanon to active neutrality under the auspices of the United Nations. Let us stand in solidarity with everyone in Lebanon rebelling against corruption and demanding the return of stolen public funds. These reforms are the fundamental rights of all the Lebanese people and will pave the way to preserve their dignity and strength. And that's to save this great nation from the evil of tyrants and the oppression of the corrupt. In conclusion, the feast of our Father St. Maroon this year was a special occasion to announce a new phase of my program of pastoral priorities in our eparchy for the next seven years, 2021 to 2026. This announcement came at the end of the first stage of pastoral priorities, which extended from 2014 to 2020. The seven pastoral priorities include our pastoral vision and themes for thinking and working with each other in order to cater for the needs of our growing, growing Maronite Church and its mission in Australia. Easter remains the cornerstone on which we build up the faith and the church, and is an occasion to, to discern the will of God in our lives and to act upon it. This will make us members of the Holy Family, standing alongside the Virgin Mary and St. Joseph, especially in this year dedicated to St. Joseph, announced by His Holiness Pope Francis. We joyfully praise the resurrection of our Lord, proclaiming, Christ is risen, he is truly risen, and we are witnesses to that. Abai al-Ajilla, ikhwati al-Shamamisa wa al-Shadaiqa, rahibat al-Aila al-Muqaddas al-Maruniyat, ikhwati wa akhawati abna kanisatna al-Maruniyya al-Ahibba. ولكن لا مشيئتي بل مشيئتك قصة خلاص الإنسان وصلت لكمال بعيد الفصح لأنه أيام الرب يسوع من بين الأموات وانتصاره على الشر والخطيه والموت هن الحدث التاريخي العظيم يلي من خلاله جلت إرادة الله الآن وفتحت أبواب الرجاء والحياة الجديدة قدام كل البشر بصباح عيد الأيام المجيد نرجع لصلاة يسوع ببستان الزيتون لما قال يا أبتاه 
لتكن مشيئتك لا مشيئتي حتى نفهم على لورا انه مشروع الله الخلاصي يلي تجلى بطاعه يسوع واستسلامه الكل لمشيئه بيه السماوي وقبوله لكاس الالم والموت على الصليب ما كانوا ابدا النهايه لانه رح يقوم باليوم الثالث وبقيامته رح نكتشف مشيئه الله الاب يلي ما بتريد ابدا موت الانسان ولكن خلاصه بحسب قول الرب يسوع ان مشيئه ابي هي ان كل من يرى الابن ويؤمن به ينال حياه ابديه وانا اقيمه في اليوم الاخير بهالعيد المبارك بنفهم انه يسوع المسيح ما اخذ بشريتنا وبس لكن اخذ كمان ضعفنا واوجعنا وطاع حتى الموت وطاع حتى الموت والموت على الصليب مشيئه بيو السماوي ليحقق لنا الفدا والخلاص يمت نقلتنا من ظلمة وألم وحزن أحداث الجمعة العظيمة لأفراح وأمجاد الأيام يلي ما بتنوصف خلتنا نختبر نعمة الشفاء من خلال جروحاته وآلامه مع مريم المجدلية نغدي مع إطلالة الفجر باليوم الثالث ومروع على القبر بدموع وحزن وألم ولكن نرجع من هنيك بسرعة بإيمان كبير ورجع عظيم حاملين البشرة السارة تنعلن ونقول إنه ليس هناك لقد قام وأجمل شيء إنه مش بس اليوم ولكن كل يوم لازم نقوم بفعل تسليم حياتنا لإرادة الله القدوسي والفعل منه بأي شكل من الأشكال استسلام العبيد للأسيل لكنه بحررنا من العبودية تنحصل على حرية الأبناء وهيك من نعبد الله بالروح والحق وبيصير ايماننا فيه بكل حريه ومحبه. بهالاطار بيقول قداسه البابا فرانسيس انه ضروري كثير كابناء الله انه نتعرف على قلبه قلب البي المحب يلي عم بتفيد محبته الخلاصيه بقلب كل انسان وبقلب العالم. وفرحتنا بهالعيد وبخلاف السنه الماضيه إنه عم نحتفل مع بعضنا البعض بعيد القيامة وأبواب كنايسنا مفتوحة لاستقبال كل المؤمنين للمشاركة بالقداس وبالأسرار الإلهية. من الضروري نشكر كل الجهود والتدابير الوقائية اللي قامت فيها الحكومات بأستراليا للحد من انتشار وباء الكورونا ويلي وفرت علينا كثير من العذاب والدموع والمعاناة وخلت أستراليا تصير محط أنظار العالم. وما بننسى نصلي بهالعيد لعالمنا يلي بعده عم بيعاني ويتوجع من هالوباء الخطير. أكثر من 122 مليون إنسان انصابوا بالكورونا. ومات منه لحد هلا وبكل أسف حوالي مليونين و700 ألف شخص تقريبا بمختلف أنحاء العالم. انتشار هالوباء بيشبه ليل طويل وظالم لف العالم كله. وزرع الخوف بقلوب الناس والقلق بالمجتمعات المدنية ولكن نفوسنا بتضل مليانة رجع وناطرة فجر جديد يطل على عالمنا ويوقف هالوباء وإيماننا كبير وبيتجدد مع أيام الرب يسوع تنصير جماعة كنسية أفضل وبنسعى أكثر وأكثر لحماية الضعفة والسرعية العطب بيناتنا وبنسمع لتعاليم وتوجيهات امنا الكنيسه المقدسه لانه هاد تعاليم وحده هي اللي بتدلنا على الطريق الصحيح. ولكن فرحه عيد الفصحى السنه بتبقى ناقصه لانه معاناه شعبنا واهلنا بلبنان بعدها مستمره وطريق جلجلتهم طالت كثير وصليب الفقر والبطاله والياس والجوع يلي حاملينه على كتافهم مؤلم كثير. وكل هالشيء بسبب اهمال الدوله وفساد بعض المسؤولين فيها وسرقه المال العام بمؤسساتها. خلونا بهالعيد نرفع صلاتنا نحن نحن المنتشرين مع اخوتنا المؤيمين على ارض الوطن طالبين من الرب انه يلطف بوطننا المعذب ويرحم شعبه المأهور ويلهم الضماير لانطلاق مرحله جديده بحسب رؤيه ابينا صاحب الغبطه والنيافه البطريرك الكاردينال مار بشارة بطرس الراعي الكلية طوبة حتى نوصل بلبنان للحياد الإيجابي والفاعل تحت رعاية الأمم المتحدة خلونا كمان نتضامن مع كل ثائر بلبنان ضد الفساد وندعم 
كل يلي عم بيطالبوا باستعادة المال العام المنهوب يلي هو حق لكل اللبنانيين والطريق الصحيح والسليم للمحافظة على كرامتهم وعنفوانهم وإنقاذ هالوطن العظيم من شر الطغاة وجور الفاسدين وبالختام كان عيد مرمرون هالسنة مناسبة خاصة ومميزة لأعلان مرحلة جديدة من برنامج الأولويات الرعوية بأبرشيتنا للسنوات السبع الجايين يعني من 2021 لل 2026 هالأعلان شكل ختام المرحلة الأولى من هالبرنامج يلي امتدت من سنة 2014 وحتى سنة 2020 وبتتضمن هالأولويات الرعوية السبعة رؤيتنا الرسولية مع محاور للتفكير والعمل مع بعضنا البعض حتى نواكب نمو كنيستنا المارونية وتقدم رسالتها بأستراليا وبيبقى عيد الفصح حجر الزاوية ببناء الإيمان وببناء الكنيسة وهو مناسبة لتمييز مشيئة الله بحياتنا والعمل فيها لحتى نصير فعلا أعضاء بعائلة رب يسوع إلى جانب العذراء مريم والقديس يوسف وخاصة بهالسنة يلي أعلن رئيس بابا فرانسيس سنة القديس يوسف ومعهم منسبح بفرح قيامة الرب من بين الأموات ومنقول بصوت عالي وأكيد المسيح قام حقا قام ونحن شهود على ذلك نؤمن بإله واحد آب ضابط الكل خالق السماء والأرض كل ما يرى وما لا يرى وبرب واحد يسوع المسيح ابن الله الوحيد المولود من الآب قبل كل ظهور إله من إله نور من نور إله حق من إله حق مولود غير مخلوق مساون الآب في الشوهر الذي به كان كل شيء الذي من أجلنا نحن البشر ومن أجل خلاصنا نزل من السماء وتجسد من الروح القدس ومن مريم العذراء وصار إنسانا وسلب عنا على عهد بلاطس البنتي تألم ومات وكبر وقام في اليوم الثالث كما جاء في الكتب وصعد إلى السماء وجلس عن يمين الله الآب وأيضا يأتي بمجد عظيم ليدين الأحياء والأموات الذي لا فناء لملكه ونؤمن بالروح القدس الرب المحي المنبثق من الآب والابن الذي هو مع الآب والابن يسجد له ويمجد الناطق بالأنبياء والرسل وبكنيسة واحدة جامعة مقدسة رسولية ونعترف بمعمودية واحدة لمغفرة الخطايا ونترجى قيامة الموتى والحياة في الدهر الآتي أمين إيت الوت مد حيد الوت والوت الوهد عم حادث اليوم وينبسو غطيب وطاق رعول البيت وسعود بايك لو قد قد شو دحل تخمار يودا بارين وفزادي قد أغلي في صلاة وعلى إيمات المرا Almighty Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept this offering that your children have brought you out of the love for you for holy name. Share your spiritual blessings upon them in place of their earthly gifts. Grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior, this grants and his plan of salvation for us. 
We recall upon the suffering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Maroon, Saint Chabot, Saint Rafa, Saint Nantala, Saint Mary of the Cross, Macaulay, and all the saints. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered. Remember also those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Mother of God, Mother of life, come to us. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Merciful and Holy Lord and Father, to your only begotten Son, you prepare the spiritual banquet for us. Accept the offering of this blood, the sacrifice. Grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy to give one another gift of peace with pure hearts and divine love. That we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. السلام لك يا مذبح الله السلام الأسرار المقدس الموضوع عليك السلام لكم يا إخوتي الأحباء توبة للسائنة إلى and security and your true love and divine mercy be with us and among us all the days of our lives Baruch Morabun Rishkohne that we may raise glory to you now and forever Amen O Lord we bow before you and ask you to look upon us with mercy make us worthy to approach your holy altar with the pure hearts and holy souls and bodies Baruch Mor Avorish Kone. That we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion dwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, now and forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence, worship Him with humility. It is right and just. ولك يجب المجب بك يليق المديح لأنك مبارك مع ابنك الوحيد وروحك الحي القدوس بك يحيط الكاروبيم والسرافيم ويشلو المترنمين بأصوات نقية وألحان سماوية ممجدين هاتفي
holy, holy, holy are you, God the Father, full of mercy. Holy is your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy is your life-giving Spirit. You are holy and the giver of all that is good. For our salvation, your only begotten Son became flesh of the pure Virgin Mary. By his divine plan, he saved and redeemed us. Ubiomo haudam dom hasho dile ma bed haye, Sabel lahmo vide u padishoto, Barefu padish, Wokso yevel tel me de u kadoma, Sabeful mene ful hu. فيكون وحلف ساجي ما تقسى وما تهاد حصاية حوب والحاي للعالم آمين آمين من كلما أكلتم هذا الخبز وشربتم هذه الكأس تصنعون بذلك ذكري حتى مجيء نذكر موتك يا رب ونعترف بقيامتك وننتظر مجيئك الثاني ونطلب منك الرحمة والحلال ونسألك مغفرة الخطايا فلتشمل مراحمك كلنا O Lord, lover of all people We remember your plan of salvation and we ask you to have mercy on your worshippers and to save your inheritance when you appear at the end of time to reward all people justly according to their deeds. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the Send us your life giving spirit from heaven to over over this offering to make the life giving body and blood and to pardon and sanctify us. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. And may your living Holy Spirit come down upon us and upon our offering. Spread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mission of this chalice the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May 
these holy mysteries be for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of souls and bodies, and the strengthening of consciences, so that none of your faithful may perish. Rather, make us worthy to live by your Spirit and lead a pure life. And we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. We offer you, O Lord, this divine sacrifice for your church and especially for our fathers and shepherds. Friends of the Pope of Rome, Shara Butros, our Patriarch of Antioch, Antoine Sherber, our Bishop, and all the bishops of the true faith, with the blameless lives and with the purity and holiness, may they guide your church and present to your faithful people, honor your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Ayyuh al-Masih al-Qa'im min al-Mawt, narfa'u salatana laka min ajli ra'iyatina mutranan, kahanatan, rahibat wa almaniyin. أحل في قلوبنا محبتك فنعمل معا لنشر كلمتك الحية ونسير معا نحو القداسة نسألك يا رب يا رب ارحم أيها الآب السماوي فليلد نور قيامة ابنك في قلوب حكام العالم كله وضمائرهم لك يعملوا للسلام لا للحرب ويحكم بعدل لا باستبداد ويدير بحكمة لا بتهور ويكون أمناء على مسؤولياتهم التشريعية فيصدر قوانين طارتي اسمك القدوس نسألك يا رب يا رب ارحم O risen Lord, by your cross and resurrection you have redeemed the world restoring our faith, hope and love in our own part of the world, in our parish home or workplace, within our families and amongst our friends, may we bring the light of the resurrection to all whom we encounter. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. O risen Lord, you endured the unbearable for our sake, showing us that there is redemption in suffering for love. May all who struggle in any way strive to follow your example of humility, forgiveness, and patience and patient endurance, in spite of the pain, injustice, abandonment, or grief they may suffer in this life. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Uthkur ya Rabb, al-mawta al-mu'mineen al-muntaqeena minna ilayk, al-raakidina ala rajaak, muntadeena dalika al-sawta al-muhyi, al-ladhi sayad'uhum ya al-hayat, ikba al-qarabin lati nukaddimuha laka anhum, warihum fi malakutak, لأن واحدا ظهر على الأرض بلا خطيئة وهو ربنا ويسوع المسيح الذي بواسطته نرجو أن ننال المراحم ووفرنا خطيانا وخطياهم أرح اللهم الموتى واغفر خطيانا الذي اكترفناها بمعرفة وبغير معرفة Grant us pardon, O God, forgive us and the departed so that your blessed name may be glorified in us in all things with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and if you living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Look upon your Son, who has died for me, Father good and true. Take him in my place, make a sacrifice, ever pleasing you. O Lord, you are the pleasing oblation who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as a lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. Compassionate Lord, may we, your lowly servants, be made worthy to pray with purity and holiness and to call upon you praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from the evil one and from his deceitful ways, and do not forsake us, lest temptation overcome us. For yours is the kingdom, with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, Baruch Mora Bon Rishkohni. Now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O Lord, bless your faithful people who bow before you. Deliver us from all harm, make us worthy to share in these divine mysteries with purity and holiness, that through them we may be forgiven and made holy, and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. The grace of the Most Holy Trinity, eternal consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, now and forever. And with your spirit, let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility, and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is one in heaven and on earth, to Him. As worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. The light of the just and joy of the upright is Jesus Christ our Lord. Begotten of God before all ages, Christ the light of our hearts, Christ the light of the world. Day is dawning upon darkness is fading away the true light arises before us the light of the world who illumines our dark and dies the light of the just and joy of the upright is Jesus Christ our Lord begotten of God Christ the light of our hearts, Christ the light of the world. Again and again we thank you, Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink, lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Like the bright sun, Jesus rose. 
darkness has fled, day is here. Mary, wipe away your tears. Christ the Lord rose, truly rose. Like a man rising from sleep, Christ the Lord rose from the dead. Mary, wipe away your tears. Christ the Lord rose, truly rose. We thank you, Lord God and Father, and we ask that this divine communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and the glory of your holy name and that of your only Son and of your Holy Spirit, Baruch Mor Abun Rishkone. Now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. مع بيك وروحك القدوس لنا وإلى الأبد. آمين. Lord God, you are good, merciful, and compassionate, and you accepted the sacrifices and offerings of Abel, your humble one, Abraham, your friend, Melchizedek, your servant, and all the patriarchs of old. Then you accepted the offerings of the apostles, the fathers of the church, the martyrs, and those who believed in your name and pleased you by their works. Now, O Lord, in your mercy and compassion, accept this holy sacrifice that we have offered and through it grant forgiveness to sinners. Amen. Health to the sick. Amen. Hope to the brokenhearted. Amen. Consolation to the grieving. Amen. Rest to the departed. Amen. Freedom to the captives. Amen. Companionship to travelers. Amen. Guide to those who are far. Amen. And protection to those who are near. Amen. And peace to Lebanon. Amen. O Lord, may your merciful right hand bless this country, this place, and those who live here and believe in your name. Keep them from times of trouble and from deep sorrow. Deliver them from dangerous temptations and whatever might harm their bodies or endanger their souls. Guide our several leaders who believe in your holy name. Forgive my sins and the sins of this community. Through the intercession of Our Lady, the Mother of Light, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints. Amen. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. And we are witnesses to, to that. This. Sad. 